right, really quick, I'm gonna show you guys how I tie up my uh, drop shot. So I get about two feet leader line. I'm using 40 pound tests. Uh, you always wanna start with your weight. I like using torpedo weights. Um, they, I feel like they snag a little bit less going through the rocks. Um, just do any preferred knot. I like to tie it directly to the weight so you don't lose too much tackle using a swivel or, or anything like that. Okay, then you wanna get your hook. Um, I like to use these offset hook shanks, size five. You wanna bring it directly right side up, down to about, mm, about right there. You wanna make a loop, just like that. Make a loop over it, and then you're gonna hold that loop with both hands. And then that hook, you're gonna bring it through the loop and wrap it about four or five times. So one, two, three, four, I say four is fine. And then you wanna kinda wet the line and then cinch it down. I like to hold the hook with my mouth and, uh, and just kinda pull on it with both hands. Cinch it down. Make sure it's nice and straight before you completely cinch it down. And there it is. Drop shot. You ready to throw on any swim bait on here? And I like to just make a nice loop to latch it onto my barrel swivel. Today we're gonna start off with the green. Um, this is a seven inch fluke. So you wanna start from the mouth and go down towards the jaw. Just lip it right there. Feed it all the way up to the top. You wanna sit it straight up like that and then figure out where you wanna put the hook through. Just pop it right through the top. There it is. What I like to do is kind of dig the, the tip of the hook into the swim bait a little bit so it doesn't latch onto anything. And then the fish can still bite onto that and it'll, you know, come undone. So there it is, drop shot. We're gonna try the white pearl and chartreuse. Uh, it's, it's a smaller one. I'm getting little bites out there, so I think I'm gonna switch to a smaller fluke. It's got the little cool little yellow tail. So I think this will definitely get them because I think they're just biting the tail on the bigger one. So Let's see what happens with this one.
Oh, it feels heavy. It feels heavy. Let's see what it is. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a nice black and yellow. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. That's chunky, man. On the flukester, there it is, it's chartreuse. Uh, I knew that one was gonna do it. Black and yellow. What do you say, keep it? Yeah, yeah. all right. Don't snap it, don't snap it. Don't snap it. Here, bring the line. Bring the line. Yeah! <laughs> what? How does that even happen? What? On the freaking swim bait. Sick. Yeah, we can't keep that one. It's in his bottle. It feels heavier when when you fell hook a fish. Yeah. Switch from a white chartreuse fluke to this bubblegum colored one. See how this one does. Yeah, so I got a little tired of using the swim baits, so we're gonna switch over to bait. Got a two ounce single hook with a piece of squid on here. Manny was getting some bites in this kelp bed over here, so I think I'm gonna cast in there first. Fish on! Oh! Feels good. Feels good.
Another black and yellow, maybe. Oh, that's a baby. That's a baby. There it is. Nice black and yellow. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, I think I'm gonna release this one. We already have a fish to make some tacos. I think we're good. Nice. Black and yellow. Oh, fish on, dude. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. Feels like a small fish, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, it's not even fighting anymore. Just kind of gave up. <laughs> a little school of blues keep pecking at my bait down there. Nice. I'll take them all. <laughs> Damn, this sucks. I got to cross to that side over there. And I was not paying attention to the tide. Now I got to wait for the right moment and hop, 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 jump out of the way. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, it's a greenling. Yeah. Impaled it. Swallowed the hook. Something about these greenlings that always swallow the hook. It sucks. So the way, I don't know if you guys know, but the way to hold a, a greenling is you want to cup the between the the fins here so pull the fins back and it'll actually stop flopping so something about it that just calms them so as long as you hold it like this with the fins out it won't move try that next time you guys catch one 13. 13, right? Yeah. I'll oh, just try recasting that. Bunch of little baby blues down there, maybe. Keep pecking at my bait. So I gotta keep checking it. Yeah, they took half my bait already. I'll cast it anyways. I think I'm on. I think it's such a small fish, I can't even feel it. I'm gonna reel it in, check it out. Oh yeah, it's a little fish. It's a little fish. Yeah, there's definitely a little school of them down there. Keep stealing my bait. 
smells smells fishy. This one feels good. Feels decent. Hopefully it's not a little blue. Oh, it is a little blue. Man, that was a good fighting blue. Jeez. That fought me pretty good. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Another one. Another one, dude. Yeah. Another one. Woo! Oh, that's a bigger blue. Oh, that's a chunky blue. That's chunky. Oh shit! <laughs> oh man! That's chunky! Look at that! Yeah! See? If... Squid? See, I'm using smaller hooks so I can like. So no matter what, they're gonna swallow it. You probably wanna cook those, uh, like descale it. Yeah. Gut it and then cut little slices and deep fry it. 